Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. Today, I'll tell you 10 ways to fix slow boot times in Windows 11 or Windows 10 computer. So the very first step here is to disable the startup apps. So the procedure is same for Windows 10 and Windows 11 both. So just do a right click in the start icon and then click on task manager. This is a very basic step. However, we need to do this. Here we need to go to the startup apps and I'll just maximize it. From here, please ensure only essential services are running like security, graphics, audio, kind of things. Right. So please make sure you only disable unwanted applications at the startup. So you just need to do the right click and you can disable. You can also sort by disable or enable status and then you can check which all applications are enabled and which are disabled. All right. So once we're done, we will move to the next step. Now the next step is to unplug any USB device which is which you're not using it. Like you have plugged in a USB flash drive or any other USB uh, device which is connected to your laptop or desktop, just try to remove that because more, in many cases, USB devices are also the reason of slow boot. So you can also try that. You have reset your PC and still you have issues, then I would recommend to unplug the USB devices. The third is to run the SFC scan and I'll tell you how we can do that. Just uh, click on the search icon and type CN2. And then instead of clicking on open, click on run as administrator and then click on yes. Now here we need to type SFC space forward slash scan now. Just like that. Once you have typed it, hit enter and it will begin the system scan. And if there is a bug, if there is a corruption in the windows, that will be fixed. Once this is done, we will move to the next step. Now, this procedure might take five to seven minutes. So once this, this is done, only then close this window. All right. Now, the fourth way is to turn on the memory saver on Google Chrome. So open, if you're using Google Chrome, of course. So if you're using Google Chrome, just open it and do click on this uh, three dots and then go to settings and here, we need to go to this performance tab and turn on memory saver. When on Chrome freezes up memory or inactive tabs, then you can turn it on. And the second one is to go to the system. And here, please ensure continue running background apps when Google Chrome is closed. So we need to disable Chrome running in the background. So if it is turned on, Please turn it on. And hardware acceleration should be turned on. So this was the fifth step. Now the fifth one, I mean the sixth one, is the DISM command that will also scan the computer. And if there is a corruption, if there is a bug, that will be fixed. And I'll mention this command in the description as well. So you need to copy the scan help DISM. I'll just copy it. And then you need to type CMD, run as administrator, say yes, and just paste the, this command and hit enter. So this is a DISM command, deployment imaging service and management tool of Microsoft. Once this is done, we need to do the second thing to DISM online cleanup restore health. So this scan fixes a lot of issues. Like if you have any issues with the Windows Explorer, sometime you get not responding, your system lags, these commands will actually help. Alright, okay. so let it the can help happen. Once it is done, then do the second command. And once this is done, we will move to the next step. So here are the eighth, the seventh uh, way is to updating the graphics card. So sometimes if your graphics uh, is a very old 
uh, dated and you're not sure when exactly you updated your graphics driver then i'll tell you the check i'll tell you how you can check the date of your graphics and then you can update your graphics as well so for that you just need to do the right click in the start icon and then go to the right manager and here once it is open we need to go to this display adapters and you can check which graphics driver you have now just do the right click go to properties and here we need to go to this driver tab and here you will get to know about the date the driver version and driver date here once you see it's a very old driver 2016 2012 or four or five years old driver try to update it like from here update driver and search automatically for drivers and if it says the best driver is already installed then i would recommend to uh, look for the manufacturer website and download the graphics driver according to that you may be using amd nvidia or intel graphics driver so you can ensure according to the model number or you can also take the name from here whatever the name of graphics driver is there just copy it note it down and search on google and please ensure that you only download it from the manufacturer website like intel nvidia or amd like that all right once this is done we will move to the next step and that is the eighth step is to uninstalling the unwanted applications so sometimes most of the times uh, it is the reason of your slow computer and slow boot as well so just do the right click in the start icon and click on run and type appwiz.cpl once you have typed it click on ok and a new window will appear like this i'll just maximize it and here please ensure only the uh, important and whatever the applications you use uh, that can be installed um, whatever the microsoft things are there do not uninstall it that will be like that only uninstall unwanted unnecessary applications from here and you can also check the size how much size it is occupying in your computer so by uninstalling an unwanted application not only you will fast fasten up your computer you will also free up space and the performance of your computer the slow boot the startup time will be also lesser so you can also do that and once this is done we will move to the next step and the next step is the ninth one is to do the malware scan so sometimes if there is a glitch there is an infection there is a malware running in the background of the computer that also slows down the computer and uh, it also uh, makes the boot time high so for that either you can run a malware scan of windows defender which is there in your computer already just uh, go to the system tray at the right hand side click on this arrow icon and just do the right uh, just do a double click on that windows security windows defender and do the scan now and do a quick scan if it uh, scans anything then you can remove it or else you can also go for the malware bytes you can open your browser and you can type malware bytes like that malware bytes hit enter and this is the malware bytes please make sure that you only visit this website to download and i'll just click on that malwarebytes.com and from here you can do a free download scan the computer once you scan it once you have removed the infections you can uninstall that application if you want to keep it you can keep it but it's a premium software so it might ask for the thing so once this is done the last step is to install the latest updates on your computer so i would always recommend to install all the windows updates all the microsoft updates which you get so to update your windows just do the right click and then go to settings and at the left hand side you will find windows updates and please ensure that you are up to date and check for updates like this 
you might have to restart the computer after installing all the updates. And uh, even if you're not installing the Windows updates, I would recommend that once you're done with all the steps, please restart the computer. And I'm sure once you restart the computer, overall the performance of your computer, overall the boot time and the slow startup will be fixed. And if you want more, if you want to clean more junk from your computer, you can watch this tutorial after uh, after the end of this video, you will find a tutorial how to make PC faster. You can try that. And please do let me know in the comment section if this video is helpful. And if yes, please hit the like and subscribe. And please leave a comment that this video has helped you. Or if you have any issues, please do let me know. I'll try my best to fix your problem. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a wonderful day. Take care, guys. Bye.